Okay, I hope you can see this, example 6.6. .6. Okay, it says who is moving. Can you see this, guys? Should I try to just enlarge it a bit? You are driving at 25 meters per second on a straight horizontal road. That's you. Let's call you car driving at 25 meters per second. And then there's a truck. Let's call it T. I'm being very uh, creative going at 30 meters per second. Let the positive x direction point in the direction of travel. So, so this truck overtakes you at 30 meters per second. Question is, what is your car's velocity as measured by someone in the truck? So before we do the actual calculations using Galilean relativity, what, what would you see if you're in the truck at T, and you're going at 30, what are you going to see? What's, what's this C's relative velocity to T? What is that? Well, it would be minus 5, right? It would be as if you're standing still and this car is going left at 5 meters per second. So now, let's use Galilean relativity. Um, but let's first have a look at where this comes from. You can go and have a recap of the previous one. If you've got object A, and then you've got object B, okay, or, or rather, reference frame A and reference frame B, and then you've got this event, if you remember, something happening. And we want to, say, find the velocity of this event relative to B. The equation, the relativity equation was the velocity of the event relative to A is equal to the velocity of reference frame B relative to A plus the velocity of the event relative to A. Uh, sorry, thanks for telling me. B. Let's I hope you noticed that. It is VE relative to B, right? So the velocity of E relative to this reference frame is equal to the, the relative velocity of the two reference frames plus the velocity of this in the B reference frame. So what you see is we need two reference frames and an event. Okay, that's just the, the simplest way that I can try to explain it. So in this case, we've got a car and a truck. So where are our two reference frames and our event, so to speak? So what would you say is A, B, and E? We've got the velocity of the car, we've got the velocity of the truck, and we are looking for the velocity of the car relative to the truck. So what are we going to do? Well, would you say, would you agree with me that perhaps... Um, we can use, say, the, the car as our event, the velocity of the car relative to something as our event. Let me just write it down. Let's say the velocity of the car, what is our reference frame A? We can call that Earth. So the, referen the velocity of our car relative to Earth is equal to the velocity of our truck relative to earth that's now our r these are now our two reference frames this will be earth and this will be our truck and this will be our car so the velocity of the car relative to earth is equal to the velocity of the truck relative to earth plus the velocity of the car relative to the truck okay so the velocity of the car relative to Earth we know is 20, 25. And we know that the velocity of the truck relative to Earth is 30. So what is the velocity of the car relative to the truck? What did we say that it should be? Well, we thought it should be minus 5. So if we say 25 minus 30 is minus 5 meters per second, which is the velocity of the truck relative to the car. Okay? 
So we know this, the second question is what is the velocity of the, sorry, what did I say? I said the velocity of the car relative to the truck is minus 5. So the car relative, so if you're in the truck and you're looking at the car, it looks like it's going at minus 5. Now what happens if you're in the car looking at the truck? Well, we know that the velocity of the car relative to the truck is just the negative of the velocity of the truck relative to the car. So we know that that should be the velocity of the truck relative to the car should just be 5 meters per second. Okay, and that's what that's saying over here. Okay, guys, I think that's the bulk of it. The third one is what is your car's position as measured by someone in the truck 60 seconds after overtaking you? I'm not going to go into this one. There it is. Um, I think I hit, I did some of the heavy lifting here. So just go through this example. As long as you can get these ones, you're on the right track.